rising star in downtown Lincoln. I made a deal with a cop. He gets a cut, and we get to run this place. That is a look at Code 8 Part 2. Stephen and Robbie Amell are back with the sequel to their epic sci-fi thriller. It takes place in a world where people with superhuman abilities are oppressed and policed by corrupt cops. And the Canadian Cousins, of course, star in and produce the film. And they join us now. Nice to have you back with us here in the morning show. Good morning. Thanks Good morning. for having us. It's a real feel-good. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, well, this is five years later. Uh, Stephen, where do we find Connor and Garrett? Where do we find them now? Well, things have been good for me. It's been a feel good. It's been a feel good five years for my character. Uh, I have been um, sort of taking up more of a position of power within the Lincoln City underworld, and you've been serving hard time. Yep. Yeah. Upstate. <laughs> Upstate, so near Kingston, if you will, near Kingston, Ontario, and so Ro Robbie comes back. He's trying to stay away from my character's world, but you know, of course, I get dragged. Right events back. ensue. Mm -hmm. So, speaking of this world, and it kind of neat that you how much you play with the AI. Watch the table. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> that table's not AI. That's real. <laughs> yeah. But you got playing with this AI world, which is we as we all know, super controversial right now. Mm -hmm. um, what's it like to dabble with that? Well, I mean, so Jeff Chan, uh, who directed the movie, and, and he and Chris Pare wrote the movie. They do a lot of research before they start writing, and they try and keep it as you know as close to now as possible, you know, five minutes in the future, not not 10 years in the future. But in the two years that we've been waiting to release this movie because of the visual effects, because of the strike, everything, stuff has, you know, like, things have changed. ChatGPT wasn't even around when we, when we started the movie. So uh, it's only more prevalent now. Um, some of the robotic, you know, dogs that was come that came from videos from Boston Dynamics and, and, and you know, some things that are actually real today. So. Yeah, it's a little freaky. Mm -hmm. I just, sure I just hope that our AI overlords like the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fearing repercussions? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm terrified of this whole thing. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> Listen, talk to us if you can about the fans because the fans were such a big part of the first Code Eight. Yep. They crowdfunded. I know hundreds flew in to be extras uh, yeah. on the yep. film. So. Talk to us about the fans and, uh, I guess, giving back to them here with part two. Yeah, I mean, the nice thing about part two was Netflix came in in such a big way that we didn't have to ask the fans for money the second time yeah, around. We just we get just, to enjoy it. Yeah, we just said hit the like button on on, uh, on Netflix. But part one was amazing. We, we started with a short film. Mm -hmm. um, we crowdfunded over $3 million uh, through Indiegogo with over 30,000 backers. Uh, we did premieres around the world and got to celebrate the movie with the people who, who helped it happen. And, um, you know, not only the fans, but our crew is the same from part one to part two. Um, it's a fully Canadian movie. Uh, it's, it's really just kind of friends and family getting to, to make a project. For sure. Uh, let's also talk about the duo of you two, because we first saw you together in Arrow, mm -hmm. and, you just, and you keep getting together and bringing us more. We want to work. We want to work together. It's yeah. really, it's really fun. We we've been saying, Robbie's been saying that this whole movie is like the most expensive student film yeah. <laughs> ever made. But it's just friends and family working together. And you know, there are there there are little things. That, oh, there you go. There are little <laughs> things that uh, that you can do. That I know that I can push his buttons. He knows that he can push mine. Um, but we have we have a nice shorthand that is. You know, I don't know. How that, I don't know how you can replicate it. Yep. But I kind of feel like in, in the acting world, knowing where the buttons are can be kind of interesting. It's great. I mean, it's, it's always nice to have chemistry with someone you're shooting with. But, I mean, we've known each other my entire life. So um, it's, it's the best way to work. I would never use a personal connection between the two of us to agitate you. In <laughs> <laughs> One more time with a straight face. <laughs> hey, listen, you've also got a very exciting new project coming up, Stephen. Yes. And uh, coincidentally, I tried to pick out my best suit mm -hmm. with you coming on uh, today. But uh, tell us about uh, you're the lead in the new uh, suit spinoff. Yeah, so Suits LA. We're going we're gonna to go to camera in just, just about a month. It's the same creative team. Uh, that did the original, and it's a really, it's a really exciting opportunity. It's, um, you know, it's just looking at the landscape of my career. It feels like a really logical and fun next step, mm -hmm. and um, I'm going to start focusing on it 
Wednesday morning. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, is it true that you never saw Suits until you auditioned? I, that's part of what I'm starting with on Wednesday. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, I mean, I had, I had, a, I read the script. I had a nice instinct for it. I yeah. thought about watching the series, went in, auditioned, and uh, got, got the part. So now I will delve into the world and make sure that, you know, that syntax that exists in Aaron's writing, uh, I can bring to the new one. Mm. Yeah. Maybe. Okay, well, <laughs> I, we look forward to it, regardless. <laughs> yeah. um, all right, before we run out of time and before you guys have to move on, uh, we want to play a quick little game to just celebrate you two some okay. more. Um, uh, we, wh what are we calling this one? I'm that Amel. <laughs> There it is right we there. We really work hard on these titles. Okay. Big graphics. Uh, <laughs> we've that. also got paddles for the both of you. So we're going to give you a scenario. You tell us which ML is sure. it. Sure. Okay. Um, first question, which ML is late to set the most? We're both pretty good about that. Yeah. So there's no ML? Wow, right out of the blocks, no. it's a tie. No, no. Yeah. no. <laughs> time, our I'm time's too expensive I get on super Code 8. mad at people that are <laughs> okay. late to set. Yeah. We were almost late to set one time on the first movie because we were playing a video game. <laughs> and our director of photography almost <laughs> murdered us because it was a sunset shot. But no, other than that, yeah. <laughs> you're never late. Yeah, All either right. both okay. of us or neither of us. <laughs> both right. Amel's very punctual. We got that. I like okay. it. I like it. Up next, which Amel forgets his lines the most? Uh, you think you? Uh, not. Well, we got to pick one, otherwise the game doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? Steve Steve adjusts his lines, but it, like it's it's always done in an interesting way. He'll... I I, I come in with I come in with a really good idea of the scene, but not necessarily word perfect. So if someone's going to be dropping stuff or looking for inspiration, it's probably me. Well, that's fair. Okay. All right. Uh, which Amel hangs out at craft service? <laughs> We're right. both pretty, right. yeah. Okay. <laughs> both like our food. Yeah. Yeah. PB and J. Favorite foods PB and J at the craft store. I, I like a good peanut butter and jam on set. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's a good Sammy. That's a good sandwich. So okay. Finally, which Amel is more likely to uh, crack up during a take? Robbie. Yeah. You're that Amel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. We learned a lot, guys. I am that person that cracks up, except when I'm working with him. Yeah. For some reason, I can just. <laughs> just flatline it. That's like working with you. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Kat, Code 8 Part 2 is streaming on Netflix tomorrow, guys. Such a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you.